How much time do you spend thinking about mobility? Now, if you're like a lot of runners, you probably spend a lot of time thinking about mobility because if you're like me, you recognize mobility as one of those crucial physical skills that is going to make running a lot easier for you. And in this video, I wanna talk about what mobility is, how you can build it in your training so that you can become a more injury resilient runner. The thing about mobility is that it affects how you run. It affects how well you are able to go through the training that you need to do to accomplish your goals as a runner. And when it comes to injury prevention, you know, you could do as much cryotherapy and foam rolling and e-stim and ultrasound and, you know, all the other recovery modalities that exist out there, but they are not gonna do as much at reducing your risk of injury as a good mobility practice within your training. Because mobility is something that we often lack in our training because of our lifestyle. Now, if you're an older runner, if you're over 40, if you are someone who works at a desk most hours during the day, or if you're just particularly injury prone, then mobility is something that's even more important for you. Now, quick little story time. Back in 2006, I was a senior in college and I had one of the best years of racing in my entire life. I set PRs in the 800, the mile, the 3K, the 3000 meter steeplechase, the 5K, 10K cross country. I made my debut in triathlon. I set a PR in 10K cross country. It was a great year for me. And I credit a big part of that success to what I started in January of 2006. I started something all new. My last semester as a senior in college, I started training for the steeplechase. And that training necessitated a huge amount of mobility work. And that mobility work helped keep me healthy. It developed a lot more strength and power. And that bled through to my racing and I was able to have one of the most successful years of my racing career. Now the thing is, a lot of runners think that mobility is something that they have to deliberately put into their training. And I want to dispel that myth right here. Mobility is your training. Let me say that again. Mobility is your training. If your training is structured really well, you are going to already, by default, have amazing mobility because you are working on it on an almost daily basis. But Let's first talk about what mobility isn't. Mobility is not flexibility. We are not gymnasts, we are runners. We don't have to be super flexible. We have to have good mobility, which is simply competence through larger ranges of motion that are particular to our sport. And because we're not gymnasts, because we don't need all that flexibility, we have to recognize that actually it's a good thing if we are a little bit tight because stiffer tendons, stiffer muscles are going to create stiffer springs. And if we think of our legs as springs, then we're gonna be much more efficient, faster runners. Our legs are gonna be able to be stronger. They're gonna hold more tension with every stride. They're gonna return that tension and you're gonna run a lot faster. Oh, hello. I'm excited to announce that ExoGun is sponsoring this video. Now, if, if you haven't heard about ExoGun, they make, according to Runner's World, the best value massage gun that you can buy. They're under $200 right now. They have four different attachments. They have higher speeds than a lot of the more expensive massage gun brands that you can buy out on the market. And what I love about my Exo gun is it has an angled head, which makes it much easier to get at some of those more difficult to reach areas like your calves and your hamstrings. And the fact that it has really great battery life, up to four hours, depending upon what speeds you're using with the massage gun. Now, ever since I've been competing for Connecticut College, I have recognized the value of massage. And I used to get a sports massage every couple weeks when I was running cross country and track because it's just physically and psychologically relaxing. It can really help with bringing extra blood flow to your muscles and it just feels good. And that has real value for runners. So if you're in the market for a new massage tool, 
highly recommend the Exo Gun. They're powerful, the battery life is great, and they're affordable. You can go to exogun.com, learn more about them, and check out all of the different types of tools that they have available. I'm currently using the Dream Pro, which I think is on sale. So go check it out, and I'd be really curious to hear how you feel a couple weeks after using a regular massage tool like the Exo Gun. I think you're gonna be feeling great. All right, so if mobility isn't flexibility, then we're not gonna get there through static stretching. That kind of flexibility work has almost no impact on your ability to be a mobile runner. And if our mobility is our training, then really what we're talking about is comprehensive training that builds you into a well-rounded athlete. Not just a runner, but an athlete. And so now our question becomes, well, what is all these activities? What are these activities that are going to help us develop this great mobility? And so let's go through them right now because there are quite a few, and I'm sure a lot of these are activities, workouts, etc., that you probably haven't thought about as something that can really help with your mobility. So we can get extra mobility through the types of workouts that we run. So a great example, hill workouts. Hill workouts put you in a different range of motion because you're running uphill. They require a lot of power. So if you regularly include various types of hill workouts into your training, then you are building mobility directly into your running program. Now we can also build mobility through speed development workouts where you're practicing running as fast as you can. We can also do hill sprints. We can also do strides. Any activity where you are running nearly or as fast as you can possibly go is very helpful for mobility. Now, of course, it's not just running fast that helps build mobility, it's also where you run. So for example, if you're running a lot of technical trails that have a lot of elevation gain and loss, you're working on your mobility. And so those are some great examples of how you can work on mobility within your running. So the types of running that you're doing can help you build this valuable physical skill. But we can also do this in some of the other activities that we do as runners. So for example, strength training is probably one of my personal favorite ways of building mobility because it puts us in a lot of ranges of motion that we don't experience in our day-to-day -day running training. And so for that reason, I absolutely love it. We can also do form drills that you might do as part of your warm-up process before a faster workout. You can do a dynamic warm-up before every run. I hope you're sandwiching every run between a runner-specific dynamic warm-up and then some core or strength work at the tail end of your run. And so if we're doing dynamic flexibility work before our run, we are running fast regularly, sometimes on hills, sometimes on technical trails, and then we're doing our strength training after our running, we are really building mobility into that program. Now, a lot of you know that I've recently really gotten into road biking. I think it's a wonderful complementary activity for runners and cycling or other forms of cross training, whether that's the elliptical, the elliptigo, swimming, pool running, all of these are great forms of cross training for runners and they'll all help you build additional mobility into your training because after all, you're doing a whole different type of movement that is going to build up that coordination and help you develop more coordination as an athlete that specializes in running. And of course, things like massage, foam rolling, using your massage gun or whatever other massage tool that you might have, these are all really great for developing mobility because they help improve your range of motion. So you can see here, we have a wide menu of options for building mobility from the types of running that we're doing, how fast we're going, the surface that we're running on, the elevation changes that we're experiencing, also, the drills, the strength training, the, the cross training that we're doing, these are all such great activities for building mobility. And they also have a great side benefit of building strength, of building power, of building additional aerobic fitness. So you can see how everything always comes back to a well-rounded training program. If you have a well-rounded training program, then 
mobility is not something that you have to worry about and your injury prevention efforts are top notch. So as you are rounding out your fall training, as you're thinking about your big goals to end 2021 and hopefully catapult you into 2022, I hope that you can put mobility a little bit more front and center in your training by designing better training. And so we've covered a whole variety of different things you can incorporate into your running that's gonna help you prevent injuries, that's gonna help you boost your mobility, and that is really gonna help you become a better athlete in general, which I think has benefits across the board. So one thing I wanna encourage you to do is not to include all of these things in your training right now if you haven't been already. That is a lot of different changes at once and we wanna incorporate these gradually. We want to insert them into your training much more gradually so the injury risk is lower and you're giving your body enough time to adapt to these new changes. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love, I mentioned this earlier, is strength training because number one, it's relatively low risk. If you're not lifting a crazy amount of weight and the amount of weight that you lift is not nearly as important as the movement itself, then the injury risk is very, very low, but the benefits are outsized. You're gonna gain strength, you're gonna gain coordination, you're gonna gain mobility, you're going to gain power, it's gonna improve your running economy, your ability to run fast, especially at the end of races. So obviously there are so many things to absolutely love about strength training. And so this is one of those low cost, high reward things, these performance multipliers that are gonna be really great in your training program. So if you haven't yet, strength training is a great thing for you to add. And if you're not sure where to start, we cover a lot of tips in our free strength e-course that you can sign up on the Strength Running site. It's strengthrunning.com slash strength. Kept it really easy. And we'll talk about how to get started, why you should really be all in on strength training and some of the other amazing benefits, including example exercises, we'll give you case studies, there's a lot included. So go ahead, sign up, and once you do start adding strength training to your schedule, I'd love to know, after a couple weeks, do you feel like you can move better? Because I bet you can.